or talk about the anesthesia machine. So the patient is under general anesthesia and when you put the patient under general anesthesia most of the times you give him or her a muscle relaxant which suppress the diaphragm contraction and when you suppress the diaphragm contraction you suppress the negative pressure ventilation so you have now to give the patient positive pressure and ventilation instead so you have to supply your patient with different mixture of gases and the question now is from where do we get these gases actually there are many sources to supply the anesthesia machine with gas supply the first of them is the pipelines okay so the pipelines and if we have a failure in the pipeline system due to misconnection disconnection or uh, any other thing we have an emergency backup plan which is the e cylinders or the emergency cylinders so let's start from where do the pipelines get the gas supplied we have and um, many tanks of gases at the backyard of hospital for example as you can see here in this picture the oxygen tank which contains an uh, oxygen liquid in it okay which converted into the uh, oxygen gas in order to supply it to the pipelines and from the pipelines to the anesthesia machine and from the anesthesia machine through the anesthesia circuit to the patient by the positive pressure ventilation and when we talk about the oxygen tanks at the backyard of the hospital we talk about uh, huge hospitals but in small hospitals we can use uh, what we call the oxygen manifolds okay the manifolds as you can see here we have uh, three cylinders at the right and three cylinders at the left okay so this is the oxygen manifolds uh, one uh, uh, group of the cylinders will supply the pipelines with oxygens, uh, oxygen if we have a failure in one group of the manifolds the uh, system will uh, switch to the other uh, cylinders uh, spontaneously or simultaneously okay so this is how we supply the pipelines and then from the pipelines uh, which uh, descend from the roof of the uh, operation room or the wall of the operation room the gas will move with a certain pressure to the anesthesia machine and of course from the anesthesia machine to the patient lungs now we have many things to protect the patient from a, a misconnection of one of gases instead of the other for example if you want to supply your patient with oxygen okay uh, there are many uh, protective or safety systems to prevent uh, supplying the patient nitrous oxide for example uh, uh, instead of oxygen because it is a disastrous and fatal mistake if you supply your patient with nitrous oxide in a hypoxic mixture for example with a very high concentration of nitrous oxide instead of oxygen and what are the safety systems to uh, supply uh, a certain type of gas instead of the other the safety system uh, includes many uh, components the first of them is the color code and what do we mean by the color code the color code is that each gas has its own color okay so if you look at the pipelines you'll see that the oxygen will be in what color the oxygen is a good thing it is a, a peaceful a gas and uh, that's why it comes with a white color okay in the uh, European uh, but in America the oxygen is in a green color and both of uh, them uh, symbol the peace okay now the nitrogen is something uh, that is mixed with oxygen to make the air so if we uh, if the nitrogen color is black the medical air color will be black and white oxygen and nitrogen okay this is in the European countries but in America the medical air color is yellow so you can see that USA 
color coded system is a little bit different from other countries okay so the oxygen is green in america and white in the whole other countries and the medical air is black and white in the uh, european world and uh, yellow in the usa okay so the nitrogen is black again the nitrous oxide when you give your patient a nitrous oxide without oxygen or with a very little concentration of oxygen the patient may be cyanosed and this is the color of the nitrous oxide the blue color okay so the carbon dioxide is a gray the uh, helium uh, comes with uh, brown and if you mix the helium with oxygen to decrease the density of the gas in order to overcome an obstruction uh, in the area of the patient you can uh, use what we call the helox which is a combination between helium and oxygen the helium is a brown and the oxygen is a green or white according to the country so the mixture or, or the helix will be in a, 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 a brown and green or brown or and white okay okay so th this is the color code system what about the other safety system which is the diameter index system each one of the pipelines okay we uh, can uh, connect to its host or to connect uh, to its wall uh, connector with a certain diameter that is different from one gas to another for example uh, oxygen diameter connection to the uh, oxygen wall supply uh, is different from air uh, connection to the uh, air uh, 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 supply okay so this is what we call the diameter index system so the color code and the diameter index system will prevent from uh, a disastrous uh, complication of wrong uh, gas supply to the patient okay so now the pipelines will deliver the gases from the uh, wall of the operation room into the anesthesia machine through a color code and a diameter index system uh, the 